Yo, what is good, dev guys? Welcome back. This is the last video of this series. I'm happy that you guys made it here. Uh, what we're going to do is just a little bit of a polish here. And by polish, I mean actually creating a way to restart our level. And that way we don't have to close out of the game and then open the game back up to keep on testing. Uh, I also tried to challenge you guys to do more with this project, take it to another level. And um, that's going to be all on your own. You can definitely join the Discord and post your progress and post the different things that you've done to this game mode. Uh, add more game modes. Try to make it multiplayer. Uh, making this multiplayer is not that big of a stretch, especially when Unreal is built for multiplayer games. We've done all of our major code inside of the game mode and the game mode is owned by the server so everything is damn near already server authoritative so do a little research try to make these things uh multiplayer networked maybe uh add a few more different batteries uh, add power-ups add enemies do something do do something that uh turns this game into something that you've created uh, for what what we're going to do here is we're just going to simply create a function, a helper function that we're going to call inside a blueprint to allow us to restart our level. Um, so I am going to go ahead and put it inside of the protected section. We're only going to call this from the game mode class. This will be our U function. It's going to be a blueprint. I believe native event. No, we want a blueprint implementable event. Okay. It's going to be in a category of polish. And we're going to call this void restart game. And all we're going to do in that function is set a delay timer and go ahead and reopen the level, something very simple. So when the game is lost, we want to go ahead and call reset. So I'm gonna do it inside of here and I'm gonna just call reset game or restart game. And if the game is one, we wanna do the same thing, just restart the game. So if I go and run the editor, oh, it's beautiful when things build in less than a hundred and fucking eighty seconds. So let's go ahead and open up our game mode class core BP game mode. I don't know why that happens. There's some kind of bug where this engine is just opening up Epic Games' website right now. Um, so what we want to do is just go here and override our restart game. And what we want to do is just do a delay here. Simple, maybe, maybe three second delay. And Let's go ahead and call a function called open level by name. And the name of this level is collector level. So collector level. And we don't have any options to pass in there. So I want to just for testing, let's make that decay amount like 150. And let's go ahead and test this out, see if it works. Our player ragdoll, let's say we lost, and it restarts the level for us. And restart, and we're back in there. So another thing we could do is add some more of these spawners in different places, just to give it to give it some variety and we don't have to go back in and change any code because we've already set up our code base to be prepared for more than one spawner so i'm gonna put one here 
Uh, and the way I'm doing that is alt dragging on the move uh, on, on this move gizmo here, and it will create a, a duplicate version. So we'll just put these in the four corners of the level. We'll have one in the middle and two in the corners. Let me deselect that. So I shift selected these and I'm just going to drag them over here. That'll give us more options in the world where batteries spawn. Oh, look, good Lord. I died. <laughs> we got to change, got to change that decay rate back. So with more spawners, you can possibly, um, do something with more uh, decay amount and you can even restart the game and set something up to where you pass in a variable through here that could set a a difficulty setting like if you win the difficulty will go up and if you lose the difficulty will stay the same uh, and the difficulty could do something like change the decay amount it could change the minimum and uh, maximum spawn delay. You can, you can definitely set this up to be a really cool project that is uh, really thought out, filled out. Um, and that's all up to you. Definitely join my Discord. Let me know what you're up to. Um, if you enjoyed this series and you want to see more things like this, definitely leave a comment in the comment section so that I could know. Uh, there are a few other conversion tutorials I want to do where I convert uh, blueprint tutorials to C++ because learning C++ is the best way to to um, really use Unreal Engine. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment, leave me a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.